டென் நைன் எயிட் செவன் சிக்ஸ் ஃபைவ் ஃபோர் த்ரீ டூ ஒன் ஜீரோ பிளஸ் ஃபைவ் செகண்ட்ஸ் Just a few years ago, India's space story was all about ISRO. We'd cheer for rocket launches, cry during moon landings and move on. But today, something game-changing is happening. A new generation of Indian startups run by college dropouts, farmers kids and garage inventors is taking over the final frontier. They are building rockets cheaper than SUVs, satellites that predict crop disasters and tech so advanced even NASA is taking notes. How? Because India's genius has always been about doing more with less. While the world spends billions, our startups use Jugaad, 3D printed rockets, AI powered satellites and foldable engines to turn space into desi playground. And guess what? They are not just competing with giants like SpaceX, they are winning. But here is the twist. This isn't just about national pride. These startups are solving real problems, helping farmers save crops, fighting climate change, and even making space travel affordable for you. So how did a bunch of underdogs beat the world's superpowers? And why is the Indian government betting 1000 crore rupees on them? Welcome to the Indian Startup Garage where we uncover the untold stories of India's most revolutionary companies. If you are as excited as I am about our space future, subscribe now because we are just getting started. And trust me, you don't want to miss what's next. Meet Agnikul Cosmos, a startup born in an IIT Madras hostel room, now shaking NASA to its core. While SpaceX spends 50 million dollars and 6 months to build a single rocket engine, Agnikul's engineers 3D print one in just 3 days. How? By using a radical technique that layers metal like a high-tech pastry chef, slicing production costs by 90%. Their secret weapon? India's Jugaad mindset. In the West, they over-engineer everything. Says co-founder Srinath Ramchandran. We asked What's the cheapest way to reach space without blowing up? The answer, a plug and play rocket named Agni Baan, customizable as a Netflix subscription. Need to launch a satellite next Thursday? Agni Kul's mobile launch pad can drive you to your backyard. But their real genius isn't just speed, it's salesmanship. While SpaceX charges 67 million dollars per launch, Agni Kul's upcoming commercial flights start at 600,000 dollars. Clients like Singapore's space faculty are already lining up proving that in space frugality is the ultimate disruptor. Agni Kul's next goal to become the indigo of space. By 2025 they plan weekly launches from india's first private space port a project cheaper than building a mumbai metro station why spend 20 billion dollars on a moon base greens ravi chandran we will just 3d print it now let's meet the second disruptor in this space pixel while silicon valley obsesses over ai chatbots 21 year old avas ahmed built an ai that speaks the language of soy His startup Pixel operates the world's most advanced hyperspectral satellites. Camera is so powerful they can spot a single wheat plant from 500 kilometers above earth. How? By analyzing light wavelengths invisible to the human eye. Think of it as an x-ray for planet, says Ahmed. We detect crop diseases weeks before farmers do. water leaks before cities run dry and even illegal mining in protected forests but pixels biggest flex turning space tech into a lifeline for india's farmers for just 10 rupees per acre their app mandar sends whatsapp alerts like your cotton has pest infestation in sector 3 spray neem oil tomorrow no internet no problem pixel has partnered with Reliance Jio to broadcast alerts via 2G. The result? A 30% drop in pesticide use for 50,000 farmers and a $25 million contract with the US Department of Agriculture. Pixel's ambition? 
launching a constellation of 30 satellites by 2027, creating a real-time Google Maps for Earth's health. Clients range from Starbucks monitoring coffee shops to CIA tracking. Well, they won't say. Now let's meet the third player in this space. Meet Skyroot Aerospace, the startup that out SpaceX. SpaceX. In 2022, their Vikram S rocket soared into history, making India the first Asian country with private space flight. But here's the kicker. They did it for 35 crore rupees, less than the price of a single Falcon 9 engine. The secret? A reusable rocket engine inspired by, wait for it, origami. Traditional rockets are like disposable plastic bottles, explains co-founder Pawan Chandana. Ours folds like paper plates. Using lightweight carbon fiber and 3D printed engines, Skyroot's Vikram series can be refueled in hours, not months. Their target? Slashing launch cost to $3,000 per kg, 10 times cheaper than SpaceX. Investors like Google's former CEO Eric Schmidt are betting $95 million on it. But Skyroot's real master stroke is targeting small satellites, a $50 billion market ignored by giants. Clients like Singapore's New Space already broke slots. Lured by Skyroot's Uber pool for satellites, split cost with other payloads, why pay $500,000 alone, says Chandana, share a ride for $50,000. Skyroot's 2025 goal a lunar lander priced at 500 crore rupees. ISRO's Chandrayaan-4 might just hitch a ride. NASA spent $108 billion on Apollo, smirks Chandana, will reach the moon for the price of a Bollywood movie. Behind these startups lies the silent partner, the Indian government. In 2020, Modi's administration pulled off a masterstroke. They unlocked India's space sector inviting private players to what was once ISRO's exclusive playground. The Indian Space Policy 2023 was the game changer. Startups could now lease ISRO's labs, test rockets at Sri Harikota, and even bid for contracts previously reserved for defense giants. And then came the financial moonshots, a thousand crore rupees VC fund for space tech, zero GST on satellite parts, and in space, a single window portal replacing decades of licensing raj. Earlier, getting approval took years, says Pixels Ahmed. Now it's 72 hours. But the government's real power move? Playing matchmaker between startups and ISRO. When Agnikul needed to test engines, ISRO offered its facilities for free. When Skyroot lacked expertise, retired ISRO scientists joined in as advisors. The result? A symbiotic ecosystem where startups handle the risks, ISRO shares the wisdom, and India reaps the reward. The strategy is paying off. In 2024, India's space economy hit $8 billion, with startups contributing 15%. By 2030, that share could leap to 50%, rivaling the US and China. We are not just competing, says ISRO's chairman S. Somnath. We are defining the new rules of space. But India's space dream faces a cosmic size hurdle, money. Despite the hype, most VCs still see space tech as the black hole for cash. In 2024, Indian startups raised just $120 million for space, a fraction of $7 billion poured into AI. It's the fear factor, admits Vinod Khosla of Khosla Ventures. One failed launch and your $50 million vanishes. The stats are brutal. 9 out of 10 space startups fail, but the survivors like Skyroot and Agnikul are cracking the code. By focusing on quick revenues like launching satellites for Europe's weather agencies, they are proving space can be profitable. The government's 1000 crore rupees fund acts as the safety net, offering grants to de-risk R&D. We are not asking for charity, says Agnikul's Ravi Chandran. Just a little faith, global investors are starting to notice. Luxembourg's Societe Generale invested $40 million in Skyroot, while Boeing partnered with Pixel. The West should be scared. 
From ancient astronomers to Chandrayaan, India has always reached for the stars. But today, pioneers aren't in labs, they are in garages, hostels and coffee shops. They are building rockets cheaper than SUVs, satellites that save crops and engines printed on a budget. But as the world chases Mars, India's startups are asking, why stop there? So the next time you look up, remember, the light in the sky might just be Chennai built rocket or farmers WhatsApp alert from space. The question is, will you bet against if you think this is crazy, wait till our next video on Indian startups working in defense. Smash subscribe, hit the bell or the only thing you will be launching is a regret. See ya and peace out.